Hey guys, it is me, Metro, and as you can see, I am facing a doll leg. Um, this was over at a recent event I went to. It was the first event, Weatherford Comic Con, and I was surprised. It was a very, fairly big event for their first time, and there was a lot there. I've met a lot of cool people. I even cosplayed a bit, but, you know, we'll get to that in the future anyway. So let's go ahead and and get you the good stuff so i'll see you guys then okay guys i want to talk about the dalek it was the first thing i saw and i fell completely in love with it i nerded out over it i asked them a whole bunch of questions because i'm a big doctor who fan i asked them how they made it they pretty much used like the paint roller and the plunger for the hands and they used a basically a flashlight, the front of the flashlight for the eye stock, and salt and pepper shaker, salt and pepper shakers for it, the top light bulbs. And you see the girl on the side of the right, um, she actually created this because she would rather have this than a car. So that's what she pretty much spent all her money on. But I, I'm, I'm with her. I would probably enjoy this because it is, it is nice. It is amazing, and I pretty much spent 30 minutes over there just asking them how they did it and it was just it, it was amazing and you've got a picture of it which I'll go ahead and put in this next clip now and see I'm just just like have this goofy grin on my face because I'm just so happy about it anyway so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing okay guys now I just want to go ahead and put this in this was really fun to do I danced along it but I decided to hang back and record some more we were pretty much doing the cupid shuffle as you can see and it was from this tent was pretty much where you could buy everything there's also kind of like a dance floor and it was just it was a lot of fun and in this next clip here i'm about to show you all just about all of us gathered up because they were playing the pokemon theme and we all decided to sing to it so so here it is So yeah guys that was that was that was the Pokemon theme and we all sang to it and it was pretty fun. Anyway, so there's some other pictures well like I found a couple of Jurassic Park vehicles and you see there's the Barbasol can and then Dino Eggs that he actually made himself the guy who brought all three of these down. It was amazing. And also I met a few cosplayers as well. As you can see there's a there's me in a uh, Baymax onesie after I decided to change. And then there was, of course, Emma Swan from Once Upon a Time and Elsa. I mean, because you, I mean, you got to get Elsa going in there. And I met a few others, uh, such as Harley Quinn and Batman but and Catwoman. But as you can see, they are not too happy with the uh, with the woman with the uh, Team Superman shared. But I mean, honestly, I'm Team Superman as well. Don't hurt me. Don't hate me. But their costumes were amazing and great. I was really impressed with a lot of these a lot of these cosplays it was it was amazing anyway so let's go ahead and move on to the next thing okay guys now it's time for the guest i met david fielding who acted as zordon from the original mighty morphin power range all the way up to in space and honestly i was a rangers fan i still am a rangers fan it was it was my childhood pretty much and it was amazing to talk to him i even got an autographed picture of him that i will go ahead and put in right now but it was it was fantastic i learned a lot about what went on with the show how he did his actually because i mean they only recorded for about six hours one day and then he would always record audio another time whenever they needed it. That's why it never really lined up. And it was just really amazing to just meet him. And I talked to him for maybe about an hour. And it was awesome. Okay, I also met Ken Sagos, who played Kincaid on Nightmare on Elm Street 3 and 4. He was pretty fun to talk to. I got this poster, as you can see. And honestly, I asked him a whole bunch of questions about some stuff, and I binged watch the show whenever I heard that he was coming, because I hadn't really seen some of the movies before, but, and it was pretty cool. I'm really an Edward Elm Street fan now, and I was just really glad that I could meet him. Anyway, so let's go ahead and move on. So you guys know whenever you're at a convention like Comic Con, you gotta get some loot. Anyway, so what I got was, first of this, Baymax clip on bow tie honestly because I just thought it was really kind of cool and it was their last one and I just I really liked it so I went ahead and got that I also got this caricature of me that I that was there because I mean you know you're at an event you might, you might as well go and get a character I haven't done a caricature in a while I feel like you did my face a bit too round but I mean come on what you can do it's a caricature 
and I also have these two like little pixel arts. One is of the um, blue Mighty Morphin Ranger, because I mean blue Ranger is my favorite. Honestly, just dibs. <laughs> and then another one was of Chopper from One Piece. The voice actress was there, Brina, but I didn't get a chance to meet her sadly as there was so much other stuff to do and it was kind of too late and she had already left anyway and of course i got the two posters as well the two signed posters from david fielding and ken sagos and overall i had a good time it was really fun it was a lot bigger turnout than i expected i thought it was gonna be a lot smaller for the first time and so i'm expecting them to do it another year next year in 2017 because honestly it was it was fun i would definitely be going back next year if they do do it anyway so i will see you guys next time bye